rest later. So go from the outside to the inside. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, yeah, still see if you have still a little bit of a problem here. So I wanna make sure the pelvis, if I can, I make sure the pelvis is level and I have some of these kind of things and I, these foam things, wedges. And I generally, on ev pretty much on everybody, the left goes right here to pull this back a little bit. Mm. And the right side goes where the bump is on the side, straight in to push it a little bit this way so we have this motion on it because that was it's the opposite the mirror image of what the problem presented with and then we can take a thumper we see the light so we know it's good from the battery perspective when I look at the thumper I'm going to look at massaging I'm going to look at attachment side of muscles the hip is right here it's round, the sacrum is the bottom of the spine, the spine is right here, sacrum is on the bottom like an inward triangle shaped. And I want to be along the pushing against the bone from sort of this angle, so like this kind of way. And I go all the way around, all the way around to the front, where the front of the hip hits, there is an, a little edge to it. Mm. And that edge is where the last muscle is starting that goes down into the thigh that we want to work. So these are the glutes, the TFL, and then the piriformis. So let's do that. So that's the hip bone, the hip bone muscles. And so I go against the bone. And then I also strip it a little bit. And I strip it towards uh, where this is the towards the other attachment. So I strip it towards this bone here because that's where all these muscles basically attach more or less. And one of the nice things with this thumper is also I can hold it like that and have really good guidance because it does not, it's, it's in off room, it doesn't hurt my fingers that way. So I can be very fine tuned with it. And remember, it feels like it's a little denser tissue. I hang out a little bit more. on this side and then that okay yeah good and then I have a sacrum here so I go over the sacrum the joints a little bit um, uh, kind of like that sometimes right on the sacrum a little depending on who it is and then I go to the other side And when you go down, you feel there's a tight band that goes from the bottom to the sit bone. You kind of feel it. You kind of stop there, hmm. massage that a little bit, and then go back up to it. We have the butt done and after the butt sometimes I do the thighs but these are pretty loose so I'm gonna be alright with that um, uh, and then I'm gonna do the spine I'm gonna do the crest here from the inside outside to the inside 
and then I go up the spine and then you'll see how that works so it may be from this angle And it's right here, right? Yeah. So here we're gonna hang out a little bit. Very much. Sometimes it's good to hang out there if it's tight. Can go from the crest upward towards the rim. It's also a nice move. And here's the spine, so I go right in that loop. And I feel the fingers, and then I have the, the thing in the back, the compass. A little density, that's the strategic right here. Is that okay or too much work? Yeah. And as I come back up, I can go out a little bit because we got the, the trapezius here and the rotator cuffs are here. So I'm going to then come down and then move downward. As you turn on. I can bring it down a little bit that way. I'm trying to go along the wrist, so it's for this one. It was up there, right? I yeah. felt that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which side is your shoulder problem? This or this? I forgot. Right, right? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right, so that's the baseline, 